<laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Don't you just love it when you wake up to the sound of yes, rain I do. and yes. you have nothing to do outside? Yes, I do. Oh, that's well, that cancels what I hate to do outside. Darn. <laughs> Sorry, honey. Uh, I got to sleep. Uh, there we go. Well, I mean, the good news for your better half is that we do have some sunshine on oh, the way. Yeah. Sure love there it. we go. <laughs> so let's uh, check out tomorrow's forecast. Yeah. Tomorrow morning, we could very well have a couple of showers in the area, especially through 7 o'clock. By noon, I think we're going to start to see those showers taper off just a little bit. And then we're near 70 for a high. So the cooler weather, it's starting to settle in. It's just taking a while because this cold front is not moving through our area particularly quickly. It's right now down to our south. But folks, we're not out of the woods yet. Another round of showers is starting to move in from the west and it's pushing off to the east now. So I think deep east Texas, you guys are going to be favored for additional rainfall overnight. There's your front. It continues to slide further and further off to the south and to the southeast. But as we look at those high temperatures today, we were in the middle to upper 70s where we did not have the opportunity to warm, meaning we were cloudy all day and we had rain in the area. But we were in the 80s across deep east Texas. All the numbers have come down now. We're we're in the upper 60s and lower 70s. There's your rain to the west. And again, I do expect that to move in overnight for at least some of our area, especially here in deep east Texas. You'll note the time. This is 3 o'clock in the morning. Again, I don't expect it to be widespread tonight, but at least there will be additional rainfall in the area. And we need all the rain we can get because we're still very dry, despite seeing a half inch up to locally heavy amounts of two to two and a half inches. We're still way behind for rainfall totals on the year. But early tomorrow morning when you're waking up taking the kiddos to school, we still have those showers in deep east Texas. That's where that rain chance is coming from. And again, our central and northern counties. I can't rule out a little bit of rain either, but by 11 o'clock, most of the rains moved out. We'll start to see some peaks of sunshine for tomorrow afternoon and evening, and then we're really drying out tomorrow night as we head into your early Tuesday morning by six, seven o'clock. Now, freeze alerts. I have not showed this graphic since March or something like that. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, freeze watches some freeze warnings in effect generally across the Midwest, but into the sooner state. Now look at that. Those are freeze watches and we're looking at this saying now oh, we're well away from that. But as we go into Wednesday morning, our thought process is going to change. Look at these lows. This is Wednesday morning. We are in the 30s. Sulphur Springs, you might have an early freeze by Wednesday morning. Your low temperature is 31. Texarkana at 29, 36 in Jacksonville, 35 in Nacogdoches. So if you did some fall planting, I advise you now plan on covering, covering your plants for Wednesday morning because I do expect some isolated frost areas, especially in the areas that get a little cooler. But some morning showers tomorrow. That ends our rain chances over the next several days. 64 Tuesday afternoon, 65 Wednesday afternoon, 35. That will be your low temperature for Wednesday morning. But again, take that with a grain of salt because some of those locations, as you saw on the map previously, might get a little lower than that, which may mean a light freeze. And then we're climbing back up to summertime temperatures with highs in the 80s by the end of next week. Deep East Texas, a few showers, maybe a rumble of thunder or two. And then Tuesday and Wednesday will be in the upper 60s, some 70s on Thursday. 80s expected Friday and Saturday. Neil, Casey? Yes, sir, all right. All right, coming up, 